The day starts early for most in Tin Can Bay, cause, as they say, the early bird catches the dolphin. Yep, that's right, the dolphin. Tin Can Bay is one of only a couple of official places in Australia where you can have a wild dolphin encounter, and that's about to happen for us. Every single day of the year, at 8am, under the watchful eye of some very dedicated local volunteers, feeding of wild dolphins takes place by visitors. And according to Les, the owner of Barnacles Cafe, it's been happening like this for years. We used to come in here where the marina is now. Yeah. They used to come around there because the fishermen back in those days used to have little shacks there and they'd feed the, well they don't actually try and feed them, but they'd throw their bycatch. Their bycatch would go out and the dolphins would follow them in. Yeah, and they'd come in. The dolphins still follow fishing boats in. How long do you reckon that's been going on for here? Uh, over a hundred years. Is that right? Yeah. What's it done for Tin Can Bay? It must have done an, an enormous amount, given it's put Tin Can Bay on the map really, hasn't it? Yes, well, <coughs> when uh, I forget the grocery store that used to be here, the dolphins didn't come in for three weeks and we had to sack staff. <laughs> this is quite a going back quite a while. Is that right? Hmm. Dolphins go on strike and then uh, it causes the economic rumblings throughout the town. Oh yes, too right. Here at Barnacles at the marina, you can just turn up, pay a small fee and register from 7am and in an hour's time, you'll be in the water next to a wild dolphin feeding at breakfast. Beverly has been a volunteer here for years and greets us with as much enthusiasm as I'm sure she had on her first day. We took this photo off it. I took this photo of him. I mean, he just looks so cute. How many dolphins visit this site? How many come here? Uh, six to seven. We have five feeding dolphins here at the moment and we have two calves. And they swim down here. Pretty well every morning. Every, every morning. Every morning, yeah. We don't call them in. It's a learned behaviour that mm. they come in here. Do you think it's more for the human interaction than the food? It is human interaction. Is it? it that's is. why they come. Exactly. Yes. It's a curiosity of dealing with us. <laughs> yeah, that's it's right. It's funny, isn't it? When you think, think about it in reverse, you go, oh, let's go and see the humans. Well, this is it. Because <laughs> look, when, when we were in lockdown, Mystique, he came in one morning and he's sitting there and he is just scanning, looking. To see, and he looks so sad. So he went out. He starts bringing in items. <gasps> really? Yeah. He, he bought in 23 items. So that. he was bringing offerings to try and get people to exactly. come because he didn't understand yes. that the COVID That's thing was right. going. Exactly. It's incredible, yes. isn't it? Yeah, I, know. I yep. say they're, they're so uh, so smart. They're incredibly uh, you know yep. intelligent right. animals. Exactly. Yes. So here we go. Our turn to feed some of these amazing critters. I mean, who doesn't love a dolphin? Apart from maybe a Broncos fan. We're about to feed five-year-old Luna. Here we go, mate. What an incredible experience this is. Something that everybody should do in the sleepy seaside town of Tin Can Bay. And I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Camperland TV. It certainly is a unique part of the Australian coast. And this is something truly unusual, truly unique, and something that everybody should try.